everyone and welcome back for another episode in my inventory system tutorial. We're getting close to the end now. Last time um, we were here we um, made it so when we picked up items and we right clicked on them in our inventory we would use them up. And what we're going to do this time around is make it so that when we're in our treasure chest we can right click on the treasure chest slot and it will teleport or transport these inventory items over from here to our inventory okay so it's quite simple to do and we're going to, have to do one other thing as well which is going to fix an error that currently exists in the uh, system okay so the first thing we're going to do is go into our inventory comp uh, no inventory slot widget and last time we did this okay so this is what we did last time and uh, fortunately this time around um, it's going to be a lot simpler and we're going to come down off this false value because this is going to be checking uh, well this first of all checks the mouse button down is the right mouse button and if it is we're going to get the inventory and make sure that that inventory is equal to the inventory this slot belongs to if it does that means that the slot we've clicked on is the player's slot which means we can use the item okay if it's not then we're going to do the moving function of moving it from one place to the other so the very first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, check whether or not uh, our inventory da -da -da is, let me just double check this, oh, sorry, you have to get our, make sure our inventory, um, get our inventory from our player character, sorry. So we're going to go from here and get player character, because the player character, that's where they have their inventory. So we want to get their thing uh, inventory the only way to do that is to cast it to the uh, in this case the first person character this would be whatever you've named your player character okay so we drag this down and hook that up so with the pl first person character gotten uh, we are going to get the inventory um, get inventory component and from the inventory component we're going to do an add to inventory so that calls that function we've previously made in our inventory component and the content we're going to add is the contents of this slot so we're going to drag that in and click it on now if this is successful we're going to come out with a boolean we're going to oh sorry we're going to remove it from this inventory so what we're going to do we're going to do a couple of things first of all we're going to set it as empty and then we're going to refresh the slot okay so it updates the user interface so in here all we're going to do is going to go um do, 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 do. what was it let's double check uh oh yeah do, do, do. okay so we're going to get the inventory that this slot belongs to get the inventory array which is the list of items this that uh, inventory has and we're going to set uh, the array element okay and the array element we're going to uh, set is this slot index and the item we want is uh, well we we'll actually leave it blank okay so nothing appears in it so it empties this slot completely and after that we're going to use our refresh slot function that we made last time drag it in and hook it up uh, oh sorry I forgot to hook up is success so we need a branch in here before we go anywhere because we don't want it to remove it from the inventory if we weren't successful in doing so otherwise it would just disappear so if it is successful we're going to then empty the slot which is what this does and this will then refresh the slot and then we're going to do another return node so we can just copy this one from above and put it back down here making sure that handled is plugged into it like so and if I click compile and go back to our game now previously we put stuff into our chests here so if I go here I should be able to right click on this three herbs it will disappear from here and it should now appear in my backpack which it does and if I pick up more herbs they'll stack on top of it like so and I can go over to this inventory and I can take these items and you can see they are filling in and stones don't stack so they are next to each other there so there's one last thing we're going to do and that's 
pretty most pretty much all of it done um, buying one thing and that is going to fix an error so the current error and I don't know if you've seen it yet but essentially once this fills up we have not got a check in there to check whether or not we can actually add any more to it the danger of this is is that um, well, let's actually show you let's do a little demonstration so if I let me just change how much space the player has so go into the player click on their component I can change it down to like four for example and click compile and if I go to my thing here and um, we're gonna put more rocks in there because I don't stack the easier to test so I'll drag one two three four five okay so it's five rocks but I've only got four spaces momentary okay so if I click play and walk up to each rock pick one up pick two up three four and you can see that's filled up my inventory now if I run over this one it'll pick up and still disappear but obviously it has no space to go to so that's what we're going to fix today so it's quite an easy fix all you're going to have to do is go into our um, inventory component and you'll go to the add to inventory function okay so it should look like this or something similar and the thing we're going to change is this create stack and it's only this one we have to change because um, all these will either plug into create stack if you think about it it's either going to add to a partial stack or add a new stack and if it hasn't got enough space to add a new stack then it won't do it and then this will feed into the is success return uh, boolean so double click on the create stack and you'll get the function that we made pri uh, prior to this so we made this right at the start so um, what we're going to do is we're going to break this off and whilst we're here so don't forget is because we broke content to add rather than have a big line going across the whole entire thing what I'm going to do is from item just drag out and get content to add okay and I'll get that parameter okay so the thing we need to check is whether or not the uh, inventory has space now the way we do that is we drag out the inventory choose get and for this one we're going to do a for each loop with break and hook that up to that so what we're going to do is check every single slot in our inventory whether or not it has an empty slot or not so I'm going to right click on the element and click split now give me access to the structure of the item and the quantity so I want to test whether or not the quantity is less than or equal to zero so drag out quantity less than equals to integer if it's less than or equal to zero this is going to go to a branch that's going to go to that like so and if that is the case then what we're going to do is we're going to have a local variable and i've already made it down here as has space okay so you just click on the local variable and the difference between a local variable and a variable is a local variable is only accessible by this function nothing else can access it okay so it's a bit more secure a bit more useful and it doesn't block up all your valuable uh, all your variables so this has space function uh, variable sorry it's going to be set here so choose set and click true and tick the box so if you think about it if it if there isn't a space this will never become true and will always return false meaning it has space will always be its default value which is false once we've done the set we're going to drag this back to break yink there's no need to go through the rest of the for loop and once it's broken we are going to do a check of has space so drag has space and choose get and put that into a branch like so and this is going to check whether or not that variable has been set if it has been set it would have gone through this if it hasn't then it hasn't gone through this meaning there is no space so if it does have space this true value will go all the way to our set array element and create the stack and what we can do then is have a return node on our entire function so I'm just gonna click on our create stack input click on output and put in success drag it over here plug that in and has space into there now 
if it returned false we have to make sure we don't have to make sure but it's quite nice to make sure you've got a return node on each school branch it goes through so i'm going to click on return node copy it and paste it down here leaving success as uh, false okay and that's it click compile and go back to our add to inventory so now we have this output for a create stack and if it is successful we're going to drag that out and put it into our return node but the problem is we also want it to return true if this comes out true as well so add to stack needs to also affect whether or not this is successful so on add to stack we need to make any success so what we've done here is we've got the success from add to inventory which is this thing uh, where are we add to stack and what we want to do is put in a, uh, a return output and we can take the box because this should always return true okay should always be correct because we've done some error checking before click compile go back to your inventory and there's our success so both of these can now plug into down here but the issue is we can't plug in two booleans at the same time so we need to make a local variable to store those values so local ver uh, variable we're going to do is successful drag this out and choose set and that will be go into there like so and likewise this will also go into there like so so now we have these two power lines going into here and we can drag is successful into this slot here so both of these are now affecting the is successful variable which is then being output through the admin, add to inventory so this should now stop us from picking up any more items if we don't have the space click play one two three four five and you see it stays behind and there's our full backpack that's it for this episode if you do have any questions comments or queries please let us know in the comments below if you've liked these videos keep uh, uh well make sure you subscribe for future videos um we are almost at the end of this one i think there's one more video to do and that'll be a query where we search our inventory for particular items or quantities of that item so for things like quests or uh, keys or anything like that okay so that's the next video uh, thank you for coming by and please uh, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.